Good morning, guys. Well, good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on this Tuesday thought of the day. I am so excited for this Tuesday thought of the day. Listen, but before we get into it, if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you to this spiritual chosen ones conscious community. You are in the perfect place to awaken in your spirit to the full potential of what God has for you. Go ahead on and click that bell and subscribe to this channel so you can continue to grow as we grow and just do the things and take over like we're doing, okay? But I'm so excited on this Tuesday, thought of the day, mainly because God gave me this thought of the day on Saturday, but I knew that I had to hold on to it until Tuesday to give it to you. And what we do on Tuesdays is we take one thought that we will kind of ponder on throughout that day, some of us throughout the week. Because what I understand is that we are in a spiritual uh, warfare here, and it's so important for us to attune our mind and focus our consciousness on the things above so that we can stay connected to God and what he is doing in the earth because he is doing some mighty things that man can't stop. And it's amazing to see this avalanche of just abundance and wealth and success and just everything take over. It's an upheaval spiritually going on and everything in our environment has begun to freak out because God done found, they done found out that God has awakened his army that everyone has been talking about, okay? So, but on this Tuesday thought of the day, I just want to give you this thought. And the reason why I chose this thought is because a lot of time times we 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 give up okay and a lot of times we tend to make decisions based on lack a lot of times depending on what we have gone through we still have a stench of that sin on us to where we feel that we should settle a lot of times too because we can't trust what God has for us, we'll go ahead on and abruptly make a emotional decision that would count against us for years, that'll go against us for years, years that will get us off of the path to righteousness. But somehow, some way, God pulls us back into alignment to fulfill his will that he has predestined in your life. So the thought of the day for this Tuesday is... I trust what God has for me. You know, it's interesting because when you get to a middle age of your life, you've had some experiences in your life. You've been able to, if you're lucky enough to sit through the pain, awaken to who God is knew that you were before you entered into this dimension. Huh. It's amazing that somehow we fall asleep in darkness and that darkness is the womb of our mom and we awaken in our life to who we were before we entered into a darkness. But isn't it ironic though that it took darkness for us to wake up in the 3D dimension and then it also takes darkness. It takes on very, darkness will take on various forms in our life for us to awaken in our spiritual man or woman that God has created us to be. But no matter what you're going through today, I just want it to be just a little ray of hope. You know, just like a spiritual person that can just tap into you and resuscitate your mind and your soul in such a way that you wake up and understand that you don't have to worry about a thing. No, 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 no. Really, you don't have to. But I, I want you to understand that on this Tuesday, on this chosen 
thought of the day, I want you to understand that in everything you do, you need to trust what God has for you. Uh, many of us have gotten ourselves into sticky situations that God has ripped us out of and we don't understand why this person left or we don't understand why they told us buy on this job. We don't understand why we're sitting in pain, but God said, you did not do what I needed for you to do. I need for you to enter into the mindset of I trust what trust what I have for you. So God, as we go on and we exit up out of this situation, we want to go ahead on and lift up our hands, raise our voices, open up our mind, expand our mind to receive what you have to say to us today. God, I just want to thank you for giving me just a the antenna to pick up your signal to let your chosen people know that all you want them to say is, God, I trust what you have for me. God, we want to thank you so much for communicating to those around us to get messages through that would touch us in the seat of our soul and in the in our heart to where it swells up and it bubbles up and it just radiates out into this air. God, I want to thank you for giving me the blind faith enough to trust trust what you have for me. I know that sometimes, God, my life doesn't even make sense sometimes, but in the midst of it not making sense, God, I just want to lift up my hands and declare in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that I trust what you have for me. The road may be crooked, baby, but somehow you make it straight. My ways may be weary sometimes, but somehow you give me confidence. Sometimes I'm sitting in the darkness because I don't understand that you are putting together a spiritual person to take possession of the earth back. God, I just want to let you know that I am so grateful and so thankful that you gave me an opportunity just to raise my voice to say this one thing right here. I know that every demon in hell is trembling today. I know that every spiritual demonic entity that is swarming in the airwaves today has been put on pause because I just want to go ahead and go on out and launch a spiritual spiritual attack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to let this whole world know, to allow the earth to shake, to let everyone know that God, I trust what you have for me. In the midst of doubt, God, I trust what you have for me. When my life just ain't making sense, God, I trust what you have for me. When I don't know where I'm going to live, God, I trust what what you have for me. When everything that I have worked for has been taken out of my life, God, I trust what you have for me. When I put so much into that relationship and they walked away from me, God, I trust what you have for me. Because I know that in order for you to build me up to the tower that I'm supposed to be in you, you have to upheaval some things in my life. You have to uproot some things in my life. You have to put me on ground zero so that you can be the hero of everything that's going forward. And in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. I just want to say today, chosen ones, that your thought of the day should be, God, I trust what you have for me. And until the next video, guys, mm -hmm. peace, because I still believe in you. Bye now.